Nice little 10 a.m. on Saturday. Let's see what the girls are doing. Some boys, but mostly girls. Fishy, fishy. Fishy, fishy. That's what I thought. I should wake up and get at it. Gonna change the net today. That makes it easier to clean the pond from debris falling in. Most of it gets caught, but there are some that go through. Every morning when I do check, first thing in the evening also, I really observe the koi, make sure nobody's got any spots, scales, or anything like that are coming up. Something I can watch for, no signs of parasites, so. Health is important. I think. All right, back at it. Luna's doing her patrol. No herons here. The girls are all up and eating, having fun. Fishy, fishy. Let's go, fishy, fishy. That's our way of calling the hogs here. The darkness coming up to eat. If she didn't have those Gen Ren scales, you wouldn't see her. Um, just an update on where we're going on the call down. Uh, I've got four waiting for pickup. And I've got Probably the other eight, I'll take the koi shows in auction. That way the I benefit not only myself, but I'll benefit the local clubs. So. Get my numbers down. That way the fish can continue to grow. When they were last year of three inches long, it wasn't a real issue. Pond's about 25, 2700 gallons, so. As they grow, it would be an issue, so I'll keep my probably six, picking up one more today up in Louisville from Alex and Julie. Well, tomorrow, um, one of the really, really nice Kohakus they got. So basically, we'll have six, seven fish in here. And... I think three of those, two of those will be male. And they will go in the male pond. And the rest will be in the female pond here, which will be stretched out to 20 by 20 by, deepest it'll be five feet, and the other end it'll be about four feet. Still debating bottom drains. Um, I'm not gonna do an overflow. Uh, every, every Saturday I'll come out and I'll clean the top or, and I'll do it Tuesday when I don't teach judo I'll come out and clean the top so some of the fine stuff falls through as you can see but I've just heard too many wh horror stories of people you know losing koi and skimmers so I'll just continue to use my fine net to scoop it off a lot of the debris comes from the crab apple over here. The tulip poplar, which is a flower in tulip poplar, which will go. I'm gonna take it down. I'm gonna take the crab apple down. So it'll be much better here. Plants are coming out today when the net goes off. I'll get me some clay pots and have drains put in them and just have them sitting on the outside and the water constantly flowing through. 
and they'll get a lot of, you'll get the same benefits of them removing the phosphate and the nitrate from the water, but won't have to have them in the pond. I think these guys are too young to spawn, you know, barely just over a year old. So I'm hoping so. You know, you don't, I don't want to just have a general pond spawn. If I'm going to spawn something, I'll pick it out and put it into a swimming pool and, and go from there. And then, and just, you know, because you can really sell stuff if you, if you call down, you know, it's, it's easy to sell, you know, peanuts, you know, 100, 300 to a bag and ship them out. A lot easier doing that than it is, you know, trying to grow up fish and sell them individually. But I will have some select, probably start out with 100. Once they get, you know, over a couple inches long, I'll cut it down to maybe 25, then continue to cut down until I've got my really, really nice fish I want to grow out, or the tosa I want to grow out. And I'll probably put them back in the pond. if. They're big enough not to get eaten by the small fish, the large fish. As you can see, everybody seems to be doing real well. Uh, absolutely tanks. Yeah, these two uh, Tancho Showas are males. So, and the big Tancho Kohaku in the back, and the other one are females. The Sankey's a male, which really, really is hand picked. Uh, once again, all the fish came from Alex and Julia, Kyle Koi. She always a female. Look at that big girl right there. Here's Siri. Big female. One on the bottom is a male. Both golden corns are female. Old Jen Ren Kahaku's a male. Then you can cure his male. So I got quite a few males. But if I'm going to have a male pond, I'll probably ha have those hand selected. And by them as Nisai. Seems like everybody's up and busy today. Luna's protecting the area. In our 20 years of being here, we haven't had a problem with herons yet. You know, been lucky. Well, depends on how you look at it. I guess it could consider they're lucky too. Water change today. Cleaning out the, I'm gonna dump the algae off the streams a little bit. Gonna redo some rock work. See you guys later in the first of the week. All right, plants are out of the pond. As you can see, 
The plants were a little over three feet tall. Got my guard dog, Luna. We completely stirred the pond up, cleaned all the filters in the back. Still got a little clean doing the flow, but we got the pumps cleaned out. Now we're scritched. My assistant is scraping everything out. Number one ranked Judoka in the U.S. Doing a sensei proud, helping him clean his pond. Say hi. Hi. And we're just scraping off the top, making sure there's no more debris. What little we have left over, the pump is strong enough that it'll, well, I've got three pumps on it, but they'll suck it up over there. And the filter will catch it and I'll flush it out tonight. But we've got in the koi so tame that they'll actually swim into the net. We actually have to dodge them. But they're really doing good. They're hunting for food, stirring up the pond, anything we got in here. Try to do this weekly. Alex right over there is a big bunch in the corner about debris. We just scrape it out. This stuff is spawned up, like I say, it would be sucked up by the filter, but you want nothing more in your filter than you have to have. And you absolutely have to have backwashes. We're putting a uh, backwash system on our, uh, our overflow tank that holds our, all our fire fiber for gram-negative bacteria. And that's three spools of the wire. I mean, uh, that, uh, I guess it's like a little, it feels like boxing material, but it was made for fish, apparently. Or somebody got smart and just adapted it for that. But good work, day, Getting things done. Getting ready to watch uh, Bruno play in the USFL. So see you all then. All right, got the... New net on, refilling. Still got about 50 gallons or so to refill. Plants are out. Well, did miss a couple leaves where they blew back in when we were putting the net back on, but everything else has been stirred up and got out. Time for probably our fifth snack of the day. Fishy, fishy. Luna standing guard as always. Try to watch her, she'll eat the dang fish food. But they were really calm, um, but actually swim in the net, so you had to be careful. But they are a little more nervous right now, but here they come to eat. Can't resist food. You know, water condition is so important in growth and health. And I mean, it's, it's like our air. I mean, you know, we got to take care of our environment. But there's things that'll hide under hoses, hide under filters, hide under pot plants. So it's good to break everything down and get in there. Some I know it's deep, but sometimes I'll get into my swim trunks and actually scrub the bottom with a broom just to stir it up. When I know I'm gonna flush it, I'll turn off my filters to my pumps or turn them down real, real low. Sometimes I'll use a 200 gallon trough tank just to run in, in the water through it so I keep my bacteria alive and my filter. And I'll get down, scrub it in, and then use a filter sock or something to clean it out real quick, pump the water through it. It'll be crystal clear, and then you can set back up and go. It's a lot of work, but I don't endanger my fish to, you know, skimmers, and I don't endanger my fish to bottom drains and stuff like that. Bottom drains aren't real dangerous, and I'll probably put one in on the big pond when we get it built this year. But that'll be once I bring the fish inside. I'm thinking probably I'll have to stop feeding in October, November. They'll go back inside, and then hopefully they'll have another good growth outside inside and we'll just continue but it is what it is 
Good looking, happy fish. Special thanks to the Judo Master. We kick butt in Judo, don't we? Oh yeah. Yeah. Everybody sucking it down. Get a grip and throw.